Hi everybody, welcome to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 and this is a first in a series of videos you're going to be doing about how you can improve your performance in the multiplayer of Call of Duty specifically how perhaps older players or returning players are a little bit rusty to Call of Duty can improve their performance and these videos are going to revolve around developing your gun skills your situational awareness, your strategies and your tactics in this video um, we're going to be working on a drill that will help us with our gun skills um, it's going to help us develop our speed and accuracy uh, it's going to improve our response time and it's going to build that muscle memory we need to be able to snap onto targets and kill them without thinking just like those kids do when you're playing in the multiplayer so first things first though nip over to the loadout screen and just um, just make a mental note of your favourite loadout that you use all the time. In fact, with me, it's not that one. It's this one. Just so you know what it's got on it. Because um, we're going to recreate that in a local game. So the idea is with these drills is you run these drills with the guns that you use in the multiplayer. So that you become really... Um, they become uh, an extension of you. You don't have to think about things. So we just make a note of that. And then we go to play, and I want you to go down to private match, and we're going to do it locally. Let's use the internet, and we're going to press triangle on PlayStation Y on Xbox to create a local game. And we're going to set the game up. Now, the map we're going to use is Hill. This is actually a gunfight map, so it's really tight and small, which is great for what we want because we want the bots to be on top of us, and we want to be forcing ourselves to have to transition from target to target to target to build in that mass a muscle memory the mode is team deathmatch because we're going to have bots versus us um, bot setup we're going to have four enemy bots now maybe start off with three enemy bots um, I'm going to go with four as it gets more difficult um, sorry, if it gets more difficult and, and they keep killing you all the time and you're not really getting that practice, knock it down to three. If it becomes too easy and you're just taking them out one after the other, go up to four and five. Make sure that you have the bot difficulty set at recruit because we want dumb bots. Now, unfortunately, I don't think at the moment you can change the loadouts for the bots, so you will get one of them that's got a shotgun. And they're very dangerous, though, because they're one-shot kills. So they'll probably knock you down a few times, as you'll probably see when I start playing, but... So, four enemy bots on recruit, no friendly bots at all. Um, make sure you've created a loadout that sort of uh, is similar to your uh, one that you're going to use in real multiplayer. And the final thing we want to do is in the game rules, we want to leave all, all the time and everything. But what you want to do is you want to go to spawn ammo mag, because it's probably down here at three. Put it up to max, because you don't want to be running out of ammunition. This isn't a reloading drill. This is a shooting people in the head and chest as fast as you can drill. Okay, so we're pretty much good to go. Let's start the match. And again, when you first start doing this, you're, you might well struggle. And in fact, you, there'll be times within a drill where you'll be struggling, where you'll, you'll be out of position and the bots are just hammering you. Get an, get into cover or something like that where you where they're having to come with come to you. And then uh, you'll see what happens. So, you know, run this drill. Every, you know, if you're going to have a session of Call of Duty multiplayer, run this drill for 10 minutes before you go into the main game. Um, don't overdo it, because you'll get bored of it. But what you'll find is over the days, over the weeks, over the months, this will really start to increase that muscle memory and your response time to taking out targets. So, let's go with that. Right, here we go. You see how small this map is? It's tidy. But it's going to enable us just to be able to constantly be taking on dumb targets. Though they can be dangerous, these uh, recruit bots, especially the shotgun guy, as Team I said. Deathmatch. We've got enemy inbound. Lock and load. But you've got to be. Got control.
see there, it spawned me right in the middle of them. You want to be trying to aim for the upper chest and head. So it's almost it's, it's almost like a moving shooting gallery this road. reposition now. One way that you can improve the performance while you're doing this is, remember, you don't have to be aiming down sights to kill people in Call of Duty at all. Hip firing is very, very, very important. And so you want to do something called centering. So centering is where that little dot that's in the middle of the screen, always have it where you think the enemy is going to be. So as you're moving around, keep that dot where people's heads would be, or their chest. And that way... That means that you can kind of aim down sight and shoot at the same time. Your 
This is a particularly good position on, on this map. It also gets you used to shooting through cover. Ooh. Burst firing as well. Sh shooting from the hip, pre firing around corners. Throwing your grenades, going to your secondaries, and generally just having a good time yeah, with the gunplay. There we go. So that's a nice little drill. But we're not going up against difficult enemies. These are these are recruit bots. They just charge towards you most of the time. And the only really dangerous ones are the guys with shotguns. But because it's such a small map, and there's you know quite a few of them on that small map, you've got to concentrate on going from target to target to target. Um, and it just gets you really in tune with the way that the game works and how that particular weapon setup works for you as well. So as I say, run that once a day before you play or before you play, and you'll be really surprised how faster that will make you when you come to be playing the multiplayer over time. So anyway, there we go. There's our first gun skills video, the one that's really working on our speed and accuracy and our muscle memory. Hopefully you'll find that useful. If you've got any twists on these drills that seem to make things better, by all means, put them in the questions and comments down below. If you've got any ideas, things that have worked for you, I'd love to hear from them and share them, share them with other members of the community as well. But anyway, there we go. That's enough from me. Look out for some more of these um, older players multiplayer improvement videos coming soon. Uh, it's always been a pleasure. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon.